Europe has a rich history of taking on bold infrastructural challenges, and its most recent venture, the Fehmarn built fixed link tunnel, is nothing short of astonishing in scale. Representing a leap into the future of transportation and connectivity, this massive project is set to redefine how trade, travel, and economic prosperity unfold across the continent. This engineering marvel is poised to forge a crucial link between Central Europe and Scandinavia, creating an unprecedented connection between the Danish island of Lowland and the German island of Fermen. Join us as we embark on an exhilarating journey into the depths of Europe's latest mega marvel, the Fehmarn Belt Fixed Link Mega Tunnel. Stay tuned for an exploration that transcends boundaries and paves the way for a new era in connectivity. And for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds. Let's kick things off with an overview of the project. The Fehmarn Belt Tunnel, spanning a remarkable 18 kilometers, is taking shape underwater, linking Rodbyhaven in Denmark to Puttgarden in Germany. This undersea immersed tunnel is not only set to be the longest of its kind globally, but is poised to become the swiftest route connecting Scandinavia to Central Europe upon its completion. This monumental undertaking aligns with the European Trans-European Transport Network, or TEN-T, dedicated to enhancing infrastructure efficiency and minimizing the environmental footprint of Europe's transportation network. The Danish parliament endorsed the project in 2009, followed by Germany's approval in 2010. The responsibility for planning, construction and operation then fell into the capable hands of Fehrmann, a subsidiary of the Danish government-owned company Sund & Belt. The construction journey swiftly began in Denmark in 2020, with Germany joining the venture in 2021. The financial commitment to this transformative project is estimated at $8 billion, emphasizing its substantial scale and significance. Anticipated to conclude in 2029, the Fehmarn Belt Tunnel is not merely a tunnel, it's a testament to collaborative innovation and a gateway to an expedited and eco-friendly link between two key regions of Europe. Who is funding the project? Denmark takes the lead in funding largely financing the Fehmarn Belt Tunnel project as per an intergovernmental agreement with Germany. The European Investment Bank, or EIB, is also a key contributor, offering a $145.4 million grant from the Connecting Europe facility, or CEF, for project construction. Furthermore, the EIB approved a $223.1 million loan in May 2019 to Fehmarn Lenden a subsidiary of Sund & Belt, for upgrading the Danish railway network to align with the new tunnel. Why is the Fehmarn Belt Tunnel so significant? The Fehmarn Belt Tunnel is poised to bridge Puttgarden on Fehmarn Island in Germany and Rodbyhaven on the Danish island of Lolland, creating a seamless connection between the two nations. Each island is currently connected to its national rail systems, with a ferry link complemented by a cooperative passenger service run jointly by Dansk Stadsbahner and Deutsche Bahn. This service operates a shuttle between the central stations of Hamburg and Copenhagen. This visionary project promises substantial benefits for both passenger and freight traffic. Travel times are set to be drastically reduced, which will also lead to decreases in both fuel costs and CO2 emissions. With the Fehmarn Belt Tunnel in operation, cargo transit between Scandinavia and Europe will no longer need to detour over store belt, unlocking a more direct and efficient route. Passengers can also anticipate swifter journeys between Hamburg and Copenhagen. Beyond its practical implications, the Fehmarn Belt Tunnel emerges as an anchor for cross-border integration, a pivotal element of the main north-south route that links Central Europe and the Nordic countries. Now, let's get into the project design. The Fehmarn Belt project is set to bring to life an undersea immersed tunnel featuring a four-lane motorway and a twin-track railway marking a new era in transportation. The train journey from coast to coast will be an impressive seven minutes, while the road journey will take slightly longer at 10 minutes. Notably, this groundbreaking initiative aims to trim the train journey time between Hamburg and Copenhagen from four and a half hours to a more efficient three hours. This colossal tunnel will consist of two tubes for the motorway, two for the railway line, and a dedicated service passage. The construction involves 89 tunnel elements, each measuring 217 meters long and weighing 73,000 tons. 
The meticulous construction process involves placing the tunnel elements in a 12 meter deep trench on the seabed. Once joined, technical installations within the tunnel will be initiated, and the entire structure will be covered with a combination of gravel, sand and stone. Safety takes centre stage in the design, with a full emergency lane in both directions, emergency exits along the entire length, and a separation of road and rail traffic into distinct tunnel tubes. The tunnel is also engineered to withstand a fire for three hours at temperatures exceeding 1,350 degrees Celsius. To ensure seamless operations, a local control centre, or LCC, will oversee tunnel activities while train traffic will be monitored by a dedicated train traffic control centre, or TCC, from both ends. The movement of vehicles ingeniously facilitates natural ventilation, while mechanical ventilation, activated only during slow or stopped traffic due to accidents, is provided by large fans installed on the roof. Let's dive into the construction details. The construction of the Fearman Belt Tunnel involved the establishment of three key construction sites, Rodby Haven, Put Garden, and the Blue Water construction site positioned between Denmark and Germany. These sites have undergone significant development, including installing utility connections and creating new channels and access roads. The coastline near Rodby Haven has undergone a significant expansion, extending 500 meters outwards through the construction of new breakwaters. This substantial project involved the use of over 2 million tons of granite. The construction of tunnel elements began at Rodby Haven in 2020 and at Put Garden in 2021, coinciding with dredging activities in the tunnel trench in the same year. The dredging of the tunnel trench, orchestrated from the Blue Water site, involves a fleet of specialized dredging vessels that will excavate a staggering 19 million cubic meters of sand, stone and soil. The dredged material will find a new purpose near Rodby Haven, where it will be utilized to create new beaches and recreational areas. The tunnel elements, equipped with waterproof bulkheads at both ends, will be towed into the tunnel trench by tugs, immersed and seamlessly coupled together. Tunnel portals, strategically positioned in Denmark near Rodby Haven and Germany near Puttgarden, will serve as vital connectors, linking the tunnel's railway and motorway with the upgraded and newly constructed roads and railways. The Fearman Belt Tunnel isn't merely a feat of engineering, it's a strategic integration of innovation and connectivity shaping the future of transportation in Europe. So, what are your thoughts on this remarkable engineering feat? Are you excited about the possibilities the Fearman Belt Tunnel brings to Europe's transportation system? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more captivating stories on transformative mega projects and innovative developments. Until our next exploration into the world of mega marvels, stay connected and stay inspired.